thank you so much. And thank you for all that you do to help our students to, to get through the process of education. Because I think what osmosis does is, is one of those things that, that, that really collaborates with us on the medical school side and helps our students be the most prepared they can be. So we appreciate you. On March 25th, uh, with Osmosis, we, we launched the COVID-19 What You Need to Know, which counts towards a uh, continuing medical education. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you, your team is fantastic. The, the <laughs> speed and quality is a rare combination. Thank Already, you. we've received over 7,000 7, enrollments and 1,400 completions. So it looks like a lot of people are coming to not only learn the material, but also get that continuing medical education credit. And, and uh, we really are pleased to be working with you guys. And, and seriously, we work with a lot of players you guys are both quick and high quality, and we really appreciate it. And I'm really impressed by all the things that, that you're doing, and uh, particularly your audience right now, who's finally being recognized for sort of really how selfless um, and how brave they are. So uh, it's an honor to be speaking with as many of them as are listening. I am inspired on a daily basis uh, by uh, what Osmosis does um, and also this podcast and getting the word out about uh, innovation in healthcare and, and education, especially education and communication have never been more important than they are now. I think that's just like all too obvious to us all on a daily basis. So thank you for the work that you do. We have found your videos very helpful. Our students use a lot of your videos in their pre-work, in their preparation for meeting in their small groups. And I appreciate what you all are doing and that you are helping us all do a better job in medical education. I want to congratulate you on all that you are doing in helping to have dialogue, provide thought leadership, and, and really encourage folks to, to engage in the discussions uh, around health and healthcare. You know, as you know, Osmosis is an education and training company. You know, we love to fill in knowledge gaps. You know, if you could um, encourage us to, to, to develop a course or, or at a minimum a video about some specific topic, what would you like us to do and to which audience? Oh, what a great question. The, the answer to that is you guys are already leaders. When you talk about who you've already had on this week, it makes me feel like how in the world did I get an invitation? But I, I was looking at your website. You've done everything from um, creating infographics, CME courses, Ask Me Anything obviously quality interviews. And so I, I think that the big thing along those lines is continuing to be such a great resource for COVID. Tying this back to my, you know, background in art, what I think about is how do we make information as does osmosis, because osmosis is thinking about this too. And that's what this partnership is so wonderful is having two organizations that believe that it's not good enough just to have everybody read voluminous words and think that the brain could put it all together. So, you know, there's, there's really a great conversation we could have, Shiv, about visualization of information. I look forward to kind of future endeavors um, with Osmosis. It's been fantastic so far. Yeah, I mean, we couldn't agree more. That's that's the whole reason we call this podcast Raise Line is how do we improve healthcare capacity? You know, our contribution to that is, is online health education, not only to uh, the future health professionals, medical, nursing, PA students and professionals, but also we're launching our you know, nursing assistant program and trying to get end-to-end -end training for, for other healthcare providers. And then most uh, interestingly, I think, too, with patients, right? Because the more they're actually educated and following guidelines and listening to, to accurate health information, the less stress you'll have as a physician, right? The less cases will come to you because more people will socially distance and wear their masks. And eventually when the, flu, when the COVID vaccine is available, They'll, they'll take it and we'll hopefully get, uh, get some level of herd immunity going on too. Exactly. And I think, Shiv, you made a brilliant point. And I think that's why the work you're doing is remarkable and the work Osmosis and your team is because so much of it is uh, public communication also, both to people in the healthcare field, but also to the public. You all play a very unique role because doctors have not always been um, uh, traditionally um, in the public sphere as um, advocate and policy communicators. Um, you know, we've much been within the trenches, which is where we are needed right now. But I think there's definitely need and, and the work you're doing to really raise awareness on that is so critical. And it does take a lot of anxiety off of us. Uh, I want to thank you for all the work that you're doing, uh, improving medical education. And um, I look forward to educating our, our future generations of, uh, of physicians. 
I mean, first of all, I'm a huge fan of osmosis. Like when I, I learned about what you guys are up to through Matt, Dr. Matt Silver at Kaiser, um, just, I, I'm, I just, I love it. I mean, I refer people to you, you all the time now and um, I love osmosis. So it, 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 yeah, thanks for all the stuff you do as well. Yeah, we're trying to figure out ways to streamline it and make it more effective, um, make make education a little more efficient. So, yeah, uh, well, osmosis is great at that. Thank you. So thank you for what you've done. Let's continue this conversation. Thank you so much for all you're doing.